Hi, my name is Raul with Math Image. We're looking at an example here of set operations for four sets A, B, C, and D. Each set having numbers, example numbers in them that are called elements. Here the set A has elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the set B has elements 4, 5, and 6. Also the set C has elements 3, 4, and 7. Set D has only element 8, and notice here that we have only one element 9, not in any of the sets. We're looking at also the subtraction of set B from set A, notice that elements 4 and 5 have been taken away from set A in the subtraction. Also, the set of all elements in the universe are comprised of numbers 1 through 9. And following, we're going to be looking at the Morgan's theorem where we have two properties, a, two equivalence properties. The first is A union B quantity naught being set equal to A naught intersect B naught. And the way we figure this out is by example. We'll be looking at our set examples and then solving the expressions on both the left side and the right side of the equation. First we look at A union B and that's comprised of all of the numbers in A and B or you can say all of the elements in A and B. That would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 plus 6. Next we look at the naught of that quantity which would be A union B quantity naught. And we're basically asking ourselves what numbers are remain in the universe that are not in the set. And that would be the numbers 7, 8, and 9. We can see intuitively what these numbers are by looking at the graph and saying that the numbers 7, 8, and 9 are not in set A or B. Then we go to the other side of the equation and look at A naught, basically all the numbers in the universe that are not in A, and we see that that's comprised of 7, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And then also we do the same with B naught and see that that's comprised of numbers. If you go around visually, around the green circle, you can see that it's simply 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, and 9. Next we take the intersection of those two resolve the expression on the right side of the equation. The intersection is A naught and B naught. So the numbers in common are 7, 8, and 9 from both sets. And we now have an equivalence of the two sets from the left side and the right side. So we can say, simply say that both sides of the equation have the same result. Next we move on to the other de Morgan's theorem equivalence relation, and that is saying A intersect B naught is equal to A naught union B naught. First on the left side we saw the equivalence or the relation A intersect B, that's the uh, set of elements 4 and 5. And then we take the knot of that to say that um, there's a set of numbers in the universe that, are, that do not include 4 and 5. And that would be 1, 2, 3, then we jump over to 6, 7, 8, and 9. And we show these numbers basically as being outside of that intersection. 
basically all the numbers that are not 4 and 5. Well, the elements that are not 4 and 5. Next on the right side, we go to find a naught, and we find that that is seven numbers 6, 7, 8, and 9. And b naught is a set of elements 1, 2, 3. And we jump over to 7, 8, 9. Next we get the union of both A naught and B naught. And we basically end up throwing the 6 into the 6 from A naught into the set B naught. You can think of it as injecting the 6, which is smack in the middle of B naught. We've shown the equivalence of both sets through the example and we validated the relationship. Thanks for watching.